Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to my family food shop, Slim and World Style. So I follow the Slim and World way of eating. I'm not actually a member of a group at the moment, but I still follow the way of eating and I love it because you can make such amazing, healthy, nutritious family meals. I thought I'd film my whole food shop for this week. I've shopped at Asda online. Everything is fabulous, so I thought I'd show you what I've ordered and also show you guys what meals I'm gonna make from the ingredients I've ordered. So here is my dining room table full of my food shop. So let's go through everything and explain what meals I'm gonna make. So a pack of bananas, they're pretty self-explanatory. I love eating bananas, especially for breakfast. I find them so filling. So I like to always have some fresh bananas in the house. Yogurts, the Muller Light yogurts, they are free on Slim and Well, so I always stock up on those. I have loads more, but I only got two out to show you guys. I like mixing those with fruit just for a snack or for breakfast. I also got these to try because when I was doing my online shop, I was actually watching Nikki Ryan. I'll leave her channel link below. She's like the Slim and World Queen. I was watching her video and she said that these are really good. So I thought I'd try them. I'm hoping that they are sin free, but I don't know. I think they are because they're just cork yogurts but I'm not 100% sure, so fingers crossed they are sin free. I then got some baby bells, not for me, but for my sons because they love them. Dairyly Light Triangles, I believe you can have six for your healthy extra, I think. I might be wrong, but I think it's something like that. I like having those for a snack. Fat Free Natural Yogurt, that's like an essential on Slim and World, you can make curries with it. Um, so I always have a whole pack of that. You can also make the lovely Slim and World lasagna as well. 50% less fat mature cheddar cheese. I'm not sure how much you can have for your healthy extra, but it's obviously going to be more than normal. I've got loads of meat that's just ready to eat because I find that really filling. And it's free on Slim and World and it was also on offer in Asda, so I got loads. Two packs of ham, one pack of turkey, or oh, two packs of turkey actually, so yeah. The boys also love eating those as well. A big pack of nectarines. Nectarines are my favourite fruit, so I always like to have them in the house. Some tender stem broccoli. That's the only veg you will see because I have a whole freezer full of frozen veg that I need to use up. So I just got some tender stem broccoli because I'm going to do a lamb um, Slim and World roast. I thought I'd get some fresh broccoli to go with it. A small pack of whole wheat pasta. This is the downside to shopping online. I didn't realise it was a small pack, obviously. But it is. But good job, I literally have a whole cupboard full of pasta, so that doesn't matter. That will come in handy. Heck, sausages. I got the spring chicken. I believe they are low sins. I'm hoping half a sin per sausage. I'm sure someone will let me know in the comment section, but I think it is something like that. You need to be careful with heck sausages, because I got the pork ones before, and they're something like three sins, so you do have to be careful. I got some chicken because I'm going to make fajitas and for the fajita wrap I'm going to use my low dough bread. Here is my box of low dough. Now it makes pizzas, kebabs, burritos all with half the calories. It's like, um, I don't really know how to explain it, it's just like a bread alternative and I do have a discount code I'll leave in the description box. It's only 39 calories per slice. And I'm going to use that for wraps for my fajitas. And I believe it's two sins. So yeah, I love cooking with those. I then got some smoked gammon because I'm going to do that in my slow cooker. And I'm going to do gammon in the slow cooker with Diet Coke. My Diet Coke over there. I'm not sure on the actual recipe, but I'm going to try and find it and link it below. And I'm going to do that with egg and chips. That's a really lovely Slim and World meal. I then got some lean mint, so as long as it's less than 5% fat, it's free on Slim and World. I then got two rump lamb steaks. Now this was a substitute. Um, it doesn't look like very much meat, but I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm gonna do that in the slow cooker, and I'm gonna do that with the tender stem broccoli and Slim and World roast potatoes. Baked beans, because they're free on Slim and World and they can always go with any kind of meal, so I've got a big family pack. Eggs, again, free on Slim and World. I eat scrambled eggs, I love scrambled eggs. And I also got them to go with a gammon because I'm gonna do ham, egg and chips, or gammon, egg and chips. Kingsmill no crust bread. Now I did order the wholemeal one. So I'm not sure if the 50-50 is 
a healthy extra. I don't think it is. I don't know though, I'm sure someone's going to let me know, which I'm kind of annoyed about because I want the wholemeal one, because you can have three slices of healthy extra, but obviously it was out of stock, but I don't know, I'm going to have to Google whether that's still a healthy extra. Chopped tomatoes to make chilli with and to make Swimming World Spaghetti Bolognese, super easy, I'll leave, a, I'll leave a recipe in the description box, but yes, yeah, Swimming World Spaghetti Bolognese and chilli is literally so easy to make. Jacket potatoes, because I'm going to do jacket potatoes one night with hex sausages, beans and red onion. I know it sounds really odd, but my friend Kerry um, made it and it looked lovely, so I gave it a go and it's a family favourite now. And of course it's free on Slim and World, apart from the sausages, which you have to sin, but as it's only half a sin per sausage, not too bad. But I'll leave the link to her recipe below, so you can go and check that out. Skipjack tuna steaks in little bream, which means it doesn't need to be drained. This was another one from Nikki Ryan's video, and it also has a ring pull. It's nothing more annoying when you get tuna and it doesn't have a ring pull. So yeah, I got two packs of those because I love to eat tuna and it's free on Slim and World. Couscous because that is free on Slim and World. And I saw on the website actually to mix some vegetable stock with couscous and then wrap it in um, some turkey or some ham. I thought that's a really good idea and a lovely snack idea. I then got some more pasta. Again, I didn't realize it was such a small bag, but I like the colorful pasta and I think it's nice for the children to eat the colorful pasta. A big bag of potatoes because I'm gonna be making Slim and World roast potatoes with those and Slim and World chips. I may need another bag. Well, I'll just grab that from the shop on the day that I need it. No added sugar angel delight. Now I need to Google the sin value for this, but I know it's not too bad and it's a really nice sweet treat. So I got strawberry and butterscotch because I love butterscotch. I then got a tin of chili beans for my chili, free on Slim and World again. I then always stock up on the 10 calorie Hartley jelly pots. I've got loads. They are half a sin and a nice treat. Now moving on to the frozen section. So I got loads of frozen fruit. I find that when I have fresh fruit, I just never get around to eating it. So now I get frozen fruit. If you get out the freezer an hour to an hour and a half, you can then eat it or leave it in the fridge for 12 hours to defrost. So I got some mango chunks, strawberries, raspberries, the boys love raspberries, and pineapple. I then got these. I thought I'd try them as an alternative. Sometimes I don't really like things like this, but I'm hoping I'm gonna like that. I thought that about, I thought that might be nice to put with my chili. I got some frozen red onion because you can cook it from frozen. I thought that was brilliant. Save me chopping the onions. I then also got sliced mixed peppers. Again, frozen. I always find that when I buy them, they always go off or go moldy. So I thought if I can fry them from frozen, brilliant. I then got some white rice. I did try and get the non-frozen rice, you know, the ones that you just boil in the bag, but I couldn't find it online, so another downside of shopping online. But um, yeah, so I had to get the frozen ones. So that is the end of my Slim World food shop haul. Every recipe that I mention that I'm gonna cook, I will leave a link in the description box if you want more details. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up. If you are new to my channel, I'd love you to subscribe and stick around. I'll see you guys in my next video.